What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to cover this week at Bungie for the 22nd of February 2018 where they talk about changes coming this next week at Weekly Reset, talking about basically the first Legion Nightfall challenge cards and emblem variants which sound pretty interesting, a lot better than I originally thought. So let's get into it. Say my name, next week Destiny Update 1.1.3 will introduce Nightfall Strike Scoring and the first version of the Prestige Nightfall challenge card and emblem variants. Two weeks ago we went through how Nightfall emblems are changing. Joining us again to go a bit deeper, here's senior design lead Tyson Green to talk about the upcoming emblem and aura changes. Quoting Tyson right here, emblems in Destiny have been positioned as a vanity collectible with a few exceptional and popular emblems that reflect noteworthy achievements. In D2 we start to pivot emblems more towards the latter example by adding stat displays to some of them. Now we want to go further in the direction of emblems as a means of exposing achievement. First we're exposing more stats on emblems and making those emblems more available to players who want to display those stats. For example the crucible emblems that advertise wins or KDA can now be obtained directly from shacks after 10 crucible rep packages if you don't get one earlier. We're also deploying a new emblem that advertises your crucible kills which are broken down by class so you can see who find themselves in your crosshairs most often. Now that sounds pretty cool, I like the fact that they're introducing these kind of emblems and making them quite easy to obtain. Second, we're collapsing auras into emblems and removing them as a standalone items. This means that existing raid trials and new nightfall emblems will provide the existing aura effects to players and future emblems can also roll out new effects. These auras are conditional, for example, you still have to go flawless or do a prestige clear to activate them. Some of these auras will also come with fighting bonuses, so when they see that the aura is over you, they know who is giving them that benefit. Lastly, we're introducing variants to some emblems. If an emblem indicates high achievement and lots of players use it, we didn't want that to mean that everyone looks the same, but we still want achievement emblems to be recognisable as such. Variants are being introduced to allow visible achievement without losing the recognisable identity of the emblem. Some variants are unlocked via conditions. The new Crucible Kills emblem unlocks some fun class 4 variations after you down a thousand guardians of that class. That's absolutely crazy. You would have to play a lot of PvP to down a thousand of a certain class. But that's still pretty cool. That is a chase there for people to grind for. Something Destiny 2 is missing. Others are drops from sources like Destination Chests or Nightfalls and some of these might be quite rare. An example that ties this all together are the new Nightfall emblems obtained by completing specific Nightfall strikes. These emblems display your highest personal score in that Nightfall. In the future we hope to display your clan's high score too. These emblems have several variants each which drop from that specific nightfall, but in some cases only above a certain score threshold and we expect some to be quite rare. Now that's pretty cool. Set targets from certain nightfalls to get certain emblems. I love the idea of that. So people will be chasing that higher score to get that rarest emblem, that is absolutely epic. And finally, these emblems enable the purple nightfall aura as well as a fire team bonus to vanguard token drops, but only if your personal high score is above a pass score that will start off as a value selected from internal playtests but we plan to adjust it based on your, the community's, posted scores each time a nightfall comes around. This is the first round of this new direction, we hope to do more and learn from your response to it. Future releases may revisit or add new emblems for undeserved achievements or more variants for popular emblems. So that is pretty cool, do you guys remember Strike and Nightfall scoring um, in Destiny 1? Where they'd actually do a chart within the weekly update of the top, like I think it was 5 or 10 teams to get the highest score. So it's pretty cool, I do love the idea of it as well, I love the idea of set emblems locked above a certain score and you have to get that certain score to actually get the emblem. That is pretty cool in my opinion, that's a new grind that we need for this game. So these emblems and these auras which were incorporated into these emblems are pretty damn good. We can see on screen now an example of the Crucible Victorious Veteran Emblem where it displays your lifetime Crucible kills, your Hunters defeated, Titans defeated and Warlocks defeated. That's actually pretty epic. And these kind of emblems can only improve. And this update people comes next week which is the weekly reset on the 27th of February 2018 which is next week. So I actually can't wait for this, I can't wait to actually try and get a high score within a Nightfall, that's going to be pretty cool, it really is. And I will be streaming that sort of thing as well, so if you would like to see that, you can just press 
press that bell button next to that subscribe button so you don't miss a stream I actually start as you will be notified when I start streaming which is absolutely epic but yes guys that's basically it for this weekly update they go over a few bugs here and there within the faction rallies and so forth if you want to read through them I will link the twab within the video description but tell me what you think about these new emblem variants being incorporated into the game next week the development roadmap I actually covered in a video earlier so if you missed that and want to check it out I will link that video in the video description also but guys that is it for another video I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like it really does help me out if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand